I'm in Long Beach for the first Formula Drift event of the year. That's right, today's Tuesday, which means it's Media Day. Media Day is kind of like an invite-only event that FD throws on to help promote the series to the local news channels. They give ride-alongs with the drivers, get some photos and videos of the car on track. It's a super fun, chilled, laid-back day. All the drivers are kind of just shaking down the cars, getting ready for the event ahead. But for guys like me and the drivers out here, it's just another day to practice. All right, Ryan, what's your first thoughts on Long Beach Street Course? What's it like coming back here after a year? After a year? Uh, yeah. Well, or like after the last 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, dude, it's always exciting. This is always like the, the it's such a perfect kickoff because we're in the city. Like the backdrop is beautiful. The fans are phenomenal. So many people come out. Get your eyes right, get your points right, and really make sure that your game's on point. So uh, there's no better place to do it with, um, you know, walls everywhere. So <laughs> it makes it an interesting first round, that's for sure. Yeah. So Andy Luck, who's the safety coordinator, was nice enough to drive me down to the hot pit. Uh, you gotta be super careful down here. It's one of the funnest places to be in Formula Drift, but there's also a lot of cars going very fast. And we're sharing the track today with some real race cars that are at speed. So you gotta watch your back. <laughs> Got a few shots that I'm happy with. Definitely got to run back and grab some earplugs and some sunscreen because I'm not going to be feeling good at the end of the day if I don't do that. If you're wondering about the camera that I'm shooting on, it's Red's new V Raptor. It shoots 8K raw. It's a, able to do up to 120 frames per second. It's kind of my go to camera for pretty much everything. I'm running a zoom lens on it. It doesn't quite cover the entire sensor, so I'm shooting 6K today, but the footage still looks amazing. Take a look. So for this session, I'm going to primarily focus on getting some GoPro shots of Dylan Hughes. I'm going to put the GoPros on the inside of the car because the track's going to be super nasty and dusty. There's not going to be a whole lot of tandem. So it's kind of pointless to get outside shots, especially too, because you don't want to see the empty grandstands in the final edit of the video. Later on, we'll be doing a lot of ride along. So I want to get a shot of Dylan driving by himself because it's not going to mix very well with our footage later on. We're pretty limited on sessions today. So you kind of got to plan out everything. So we skipped lunch to shoot Dylan's diesel drift car. This is a demo car that Dylan uses when he's drifting in other series that are not Formula D Pro. Uh, it's got a special livery on it this weekend to promote a dubstep artist. Uh, her name's Charlotte. Sounds like some pretty cool music, but he's gonna drift this on the track and she's gonna hop in for a ride along. So hopefully she likes drifting. Second session is about to start. Got the sticks with the long lens on the Raptor. We're gonna go to the stereotypical Long Beach spot to get the shot that everybody knows. It's the second session now. I'm kind of just walking around with the wide angle, trying to mix it up, you know. Don't want to stay in the same spot all day. Getting some good stuff. The tire rubber's flying all over the place. It's getting in my hair and all my glasses. But Saturday's gonna be a good time. Is your driving good enough that I can put a camera on your car?
Sessions two, three, and four flew by pretty quick. They just ran them back to back. I've been walking around with the wide lens, just getting all over the place, getting into some cool spots uh, you might not be able to on Friday. In the very, very last lap of practice, James Dean car just like exploded in fire and uh, that thing's pretty messed up. So it'll be pretty interesting to see uh, if those guys can make it back. Hopefully we'll see them on Friday. I'll be looking forward to it. Should be a good time, but looks like everybody's okay. James is out of the car and uh, they got some work to do. Excited to get out there on Friday or what? Yeah, I wish I was there today, man. Yeah, I can't wait for Friday. What are you I mean, these things are stripped so hard, it's almost five Jay-Z. Dude, <laughs> yeah, what is it? Well, it's four and a half, technically. <laughs> There's the Diesel brother himself right there. Brother. 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 I have a diesel truck. How many incredible things did you learn at the driver's meeting? Uh, I learned I couldn't really hear what they were saying, so uh, <laughs> I yawned about two dozen times, and now I'm not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty points, huh? So it's been a pretty chill day so far. Nobody's really done much of the track, of course, since everybody's kind of just setting up. We uh, went over to O'Reilly's with Dylan, shot some stuff, doing some giveaways, and then uh, that was really cool because I got to ride in the race car with him on the street. Has anyone ever like done something while you're driving that pissed you off and you like got back at them somehow? Oh, dude. Somebody makes me mad every time I put my helmet on, for sure, but it's not personal, it's just, Everybody's pretty wound up when the pressure's on. And as far as getting them back, it's if you beat somebody, you know what I mean? When you beat somebody in the chain of battle, it's the ultimate hell yeah. Now uh, it's almost seven o'clock at night and they're gonna do the FD parade. They're gonna basically drive a bunch of the race cars down to the Pike Street down there. And uh, it's like a cool little police escort, but we'll see, usually I ride in the media truck and film out of the back of that. But I think this time we're gonna mix it up and jump on some lime scooters. So that should be a good time. We'll see how it goes. Bird gang. Bird gang out here. Gang gang. Bird gang. gang. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Filming the parade on my phone while riding a scooter. This is working out well. So the parade was pretty crazy. The scooter was definitely a good idea. Got some really good shots. Uh, had a fun time. We grabbed some dinner and now we're gonna go back to the bed and get some sleep before the big day tomorrow. It's gonna be a lot of practice and a little bit of qualifying for some drivers. So I'm excited to see how the new qualifying order works. Um, a lot of it's seated now. So there's not gonna be any single car runs, which will be really cool to see. So I can't wait. It's Thursday, we're already out here at 7.30 in the morning. I was a little bit late to the media meeting, but that's all right, they still got me the best, luckily. Uh, I missed the first couple of runs. A um, little bit of drama, Dylan already broke a strut on the front of the car. Parked it, like crashed into somebody else. Jesus Christ, dude. Look where he initiated. He's not, he's not even into the fight. <laughs> Wasn't really his fault, but it looks like somebody else just hit one of the walls and now they're gonna have to uh, fix the, the barrier. So it's kind of a slow morning here. We'll see, hopefully it amps up and I'm excited to see this new qualifying format. So an hour and a half of first practice is already over. There has been some serious carnage. This track is very unforgiving and I feel bad for some of these drivers. Uh, unfortunately, some of the people I'm working for, I haven't gotten a lot of shots of them because there just haven't been a lot of runs. So we'll see, that's kind of just what it's like when you're media, you gotta take what you can. 
and I guess we're not allowed on the hot grid anymore. So good thing I got a few shots on Tuesday, but uh, session two is going to start soon. Well, at least you got a good opener for the vlog. Rookie's on the cart, man. A long time since I've been over here at the first turn. Hopefully, I'm not uh, self incriminating myself because I'm not even sure if we're supposed to be here, but it seems pretty safe behind the fence. Uh, it's a pretty good shot, but you know, it's funny is last time I shot this like forever ago, the cars made way less smoke, and it's kind of hard to shoot the cars from the back because all you see is white. But uh, we'll see, I'll make it work. Maybe get some artsy fartsy shots here with the fence in the foreground. Slightly better session than the first one for sure. Uh, car feels sick, man. We're just trying to work on our consistency. We're just start off a little bit of ways off the walls and then and then dial it in. So we're pretty much chilling tonight after we get done with our warm up. But um, car's running good. The two J V under the hood is sick. Real purple snake. So last night was pretty fun. We watched the seating together with the Royal Purple team. It was pretty uneventful for us since Dylan's already seated, which is nice. It's 7 a.m. today. It's race day. This is the earliest we've ever been here, uh, which is cool. There should be a lot of driving, a lot of practice, uh, but it's definitely going to be a long day. I'm um, excited to see what happens here for 32 and uh, kind of curious what, uh, what driver is going to win the, this weekend. My, my money was on Matt Field, but he's been definitely having some problems. So uh, we'll see. James Dean's been looking really strong. He's got the car back together. So it's been fun shooting that. Uh, he's been on point this weekend. So we'll see. Driving is supposed to start in about five minutes here. I'm a little worried. The weather is not looking great. There's about a 50% chance of rain. So it could suck, could be exciting, but I'm um, gonna see if I can find a nice hole in the fence. I'm usually pretty passive about uh, getting to a good spot. If somebody's already standing there, I kind of just go to the next one, but maybe I'll get my elbows out and find a really good place. Halfway through top 32, and unfortunately, one of my drivers already got eliminated. But Ryan Turk is next. He's going against Connor Shanahan, and uh, Connor's a really good driver, so he's got his work cut out for him. But I'm rooting for Ryan. Carcarola initiates Connor Shanahan. The garage is at BMW. Transition down to that second outside zone. Ryan Turk possessed. Look at Shanahan. Oh! Ryan the wall. Have an impact. <laughs> he's he's ready to go. I mean, oh, we've got a D beat. Okay. There's one and a two. Connor Shanahan gets the win on his maiden voyage. So unfortunately, Ryan Turk got knocked out by kind of an interesting call because of a tire beat D beat, uh, which sucks because the two drivers I primarily shoot for both got knocked out in top 32. Uh, I'm probably gonna stick around, just keep shooting for fun. But it's a good, it's a good place to stand in the media box and get a good view of the cars. So uh, I do enjoy the sport as a spectator too. So maybe I'll stay for the finals and see who wins. All right, bit of a tough break today. How'd it go? Uh, yeah, super disappointing. But um, uh, we gave it our all. I just pushed a little too hard. What's your game face on? 
No way. Basically, Connor could be it prior to the contact collision fall of the Turk. I'll rerun the top 32 battle as the first battle of top 16. Again, we'll see the number 411 running again to maybe get into the top 16. We'll explain that in just a moment, but make some noise for him in that Rain X Toyota GR Corolla on Nitto tires. It is Ryan Turk. Simon's killing it. I'm killing it. I'm at ease because he's doing well. Thanks for not wrecking the car up too bad. Uh, it's, it's been not too bad. Uh, a couple of bumps here and there, but you know how it is. You got to find the walls and then you know how to stay off them. This always happens to me during top 16. The second I go over to the end of the track, whoever I'm filming ends up crashing at the beginning of the track and I completely miss it. So that's probably going to happen. Uh, so by the way, Ryan's acting, it makes me think that Shanahan might have hit him because usually a driver doesn't get so hyper-focused on what the problem is if they think they've lost the battle. Um, but if it was Shanahan's fault, he's going to end up advancing to the top eight and they're going to need to fix that car. The guy spins out behind you. I would hope that your spotter tells you to take it easy, but I guess not. So I might have mentioned that it was going to be uh, exciting if the rain came, but the rain's here and it sucks. Uh, everybody's hiding in the trailer right now, kind of waiting for it to end, but the drifting is very slow and boring, and I don't think I'm going to go back out there until it stops. So I forced myself to come back out here in the rain. It's actually pretty fun. There's some really cool things to shoot. Uh, I was kind of watching Lorette interview Simon. Uh, she gets all of her notes down, and then uh, once she's on the live stream, then she knows what she's talking about. So it's probably probably a good idea. But uh, they're making a decision right here on Osvo and James Dean, so it's a pretty big one. We'll see what happens. Wow, the most rain we've seen all day coming down. Uh, might have been a bad idea to come back out here because it's really raining now. It's gonna be a massive puddle out there. That's a wrap on FD Long Beach 24. Even with the rain and everything, it was still a pretty good time, but uh, I think it's time to go to podium, sip some champagne, and I'll see you on the next one.